In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this project timeline or timetable. You can see here, I have put for each boxes, each quarter, quarter one, starting from Jan to March, then quarter two, April to June. Uh, till the quarter four which is october to december and then on the left side you can add the project or the task details and then for each project what's the timeline uh, depending on the month you can just add with some different color combination the line and then you can add some detailed text on top of each timeline and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rectangle top corners rounded just click it and then i'm going to change the size the height i'm going to make as 6.4 and the width i'm going to make as uh, 2.6 okay just place it here shape fill i'm going to give some dark color and if you want to reduce the curve edges you can see the small orange point just drag this outside all right the next thing which i'm going to add the table for that go to insert table and click on insert table here the number of columns i need three okay for each quarter and the total number of rows depending on the requirement so i'm going to select eight and click ok and here the table got inserted now i'm going to select all the rows in the columns the first thing which you need to go to the table design and remove the banded rows and the header row you can see here and then i'm going to select this pen color you can see here this gray color pen color and then first of all make the shading as white and then the borders i'm going to select all borders so it it came with the gray color here now i'm going to reduce the table size to fit into our box you can see here i can just reduce it and i'm going to place something like this and then the first uh, column or the row i'm going to reduce the height you can see here it looks something like this and make it more bottom that's it so now first of all here i'm going to add one text where i'm going to type, type q1 that is quarter one font as white make it bold increase the size center align and place it here exactly in the center all right and for this one i'm going to select this first row and you can choose the font as white and make it bold reduce the font to maybe uh, 14 again which is not visible but once i do you know exactly what i'm trying to do and then go to the layout select this one which is the center vertically and center align you can see here these two things then you can go to table design and you can just choose any color here one by one any color of your choice you can choose it here you can see here i'm just selecting some random colors all right and then you can just type this is jan this is feb and this is march january february march now what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this one so i'm going to select this all the shapes hold the control shift key and drag this one next to each other if you don't want any uh, gaps you can leave without gaps or if you want some gaps also you can keep it so it depending on your requirement so let me just select again hold the control shift key and again hold the control shift key and you can see here sorry this one the table has not been selected let me just do it once again and again make sure that this outline should not be any outline i forgot to tell that anyway so now let me just hold the control shift key and i'm going to add it here and you can see here some part has gone outside so now i'm going to select all the shapes using the arrow from the keyboard i can just align it all right and here i can see some gap again i can select this and i can remove the gap so you can see here 
now we have got q1 this is q2 q3 and q4 likewise we can just say march april this would be may june let me just type it quickly july august september october november and december all right again if you want you can just change the the background of each of this cell okay the next one here i'm going to add one more table where go to insert i can select the table and here insert table i'm going to select number of columns one only and number of rows again depending on the requirement again if you want seven or eight so let's put a uh, seven here because i don't want the header row and click ok again you can see here i got this one now for this again i'm going to select remove the banded rows banded the header row and then i'm going to use the shade fill as white again if you want to change the color you can change depending on the requirement and the pen color remains same and again i'm going to click on the all borders you can see here i can just put it here okay and i can just increase the size right here again i'm going to select the layout i can select this one which is the center and this time i'm going to align right and then go to the home you can give a font color maybe some dark font make it bold and if you want to increase you can increase to 22 and here i'm going to say project a you can see here then comes the project b project c project d like that you can just make it or you can make some task also project f and project g you can align like this or you can align something like this you can see here in this case i don't need this project g so i'm just going to delete this one so i can select and delete and i'm going to say last row okay and this one also i don't need any borders so for that i can remove all borders here and this one also i can say no fill also okay so now i'm going to place it exactly for each this one you can see here i can just reduce the size and that's it this is a b c d e and f okay if you want you can just reduce further so that it is aligned properly now we have done the basic design of the the timelines template now it's time to add some timelines all right for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle rounded corners okay and here make it fully curved by dragging these orange points inside and you can just give any color of your choice shape outline make it no outline bring it here and say this is starting from january to march for example i can just reduce the size and i'm going to place it here like this you can see here this is january to march the project a then the project b starts say from march to may again i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d again you can just select march to may again if you want to increase the size you can just simply come to the shape format and increase it and again change any color of your choice press ctrl d now this one will start say from again from march to june again i'm going to increase the size something like this okay again change the color to some other color press ctrl d this starting from say june to july only so in this case i'm going to reduce the size all right and then again i'm going to duplicate this one and this is starting from say from 
August to November. Again, let's increase this and press Ctrl D to duplicate. And this one should start from November to December only. So I'm just going to select two only. And then align it properly. Okay, just align it properly. Yeah, so this, that's done. And you can just change any color of your choice. And once this is done, you can just go to insert text box. Sorry, let me just add the text box. And you can just add details here. Center align, reduce the font size and I can just add any details for each of this one. You can see here, you can add any details of the project. And that's it, our, our template is ready and at the top you can add any title. 